Stay with me for five minutes or less and I will show you in this video exactly what I do when I need to get things done ASAP. And when things are really important, the goals have big consequences and big rewards. I'm gonna show you this tip that I use on myself and kind of give you some examples of what I used in the past and how I'm gonna use it actually in the upcoming months. So stay tuned with me. My name is Jason Humphrey. I help coding bootcamp students get their first high paying job as a software engineer. And if you have any questions on that, feel free to reach out to me. You can see all the stuff I have on my profiles. Let's jump into it. What do I do to get things done ASAP when they're a priority? And I'll start with this example. A couple years ago, for those of you who don't know me, I, what would you say, let myself go a little bit. I got up to 280 pounds and being a uh, six foot five male, 280 pounds isn't awful by any means, but it was pretty bad for me. I'd been around 230, 240 a majority of my life as an athlete. And so to get up to 280, not an athlete anymore, was pretty atrocious. And I started feeling miserable and I actually went to the doctor and was pre-diabetic that I found out at that time. And it was a bit scary because nobody wants to be diabetic if they had the choice, right? You would much rather lose the weight, fight it off, if, if that's a possibility. And in my case it was because I was just in the pre-diabetic stages. So what did I do? Well, I gave myself a social challenge. And what do I mean by a social challenge? I legitimately told all my friends and family what I was going to do and said, if I, you know, if I didn't do this, you had to hold me accountable. Now at that time, I didn't really add any extra incentive at that time because the aspect of being potentially humiliated for not reaching my weight goal and still being considered fat in their eyes and, you know, I really just didn't want to let them down. So I didn't have any extra uh, incentive on this social challenge I did with them but I'll show you what I mean here in a minute about what other incentives you can add on other social challenges and so I did this years ago and I end up uh, finding fasting getting into that working out a bunch more going and playing a lot more basketball eating right being healthy overall making good decisions it really helped though having people in my court rooting for me, checking in on me, making sure I was hitting my goals and not going backwards. Uh, whether it was the family at holidays or the coworkers uh, at work staying on top of me. Like my, my good buddy did, if he's watching this, shout out to you, man. I know he was always there helping at work. And of course, I have to say my wife at home, she helped a lot on that. But that's not the point of this video. What I'm getting at is I did a social challenge with them and the social challenge really you know, helped me out. But that's just one way I used it. And to finish off that story, I actually lost 80 pounds and got all the way down to 200 pounds. And so it is an effective way. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use this social challenge today, better yet in the upcoming weeks. And this is gonna be really prevalent for this new challenge for me actually at work. The more I do online, as you guys see, and the more videos I put out, the more content, the more courses, the more things I put out, the harder it is really to be on top of my A game all the time and be super high performing in every aspect, making sure I'm responding to all emails, getting all work done, meeting with everybody one on one, and running a business outside of work, working full time, uh, getting enough sleep, hanging out with family. Like, there is just a ton going on, and things get dropped off very quickly sometimes. When I'm in a situation that really demands my attention, there are things that are going to go right off the bat. And something I've gotten really bad at in the recent years is emails. Maybe some of you have seen this. I know definitely my coworkers have. I know my family has, and potentially some of the people have emailed me. You might know it. it takes me a while to respond. And that's because when I get in these situations, I gotta get work done, I gotta meet with people, I've gotta be productive, I've gotta get a lot of things done. That's the first thing to go. And I'll admit I'm awful at it now. I am notorious for missing emails. I am now notorious, and that's not something I actually want to be. By any means. When the rubber meets the road, that's the first thing to go because if I can forget about that and can do the work, I can get all the work done and all the tasks that are required of me, I just miss out on all the extra messages and things people leave in my inbox. So what am I gonna do about that? I am going to do a social challenge with myself and all of my coworkers and all of uh, potentially you that are located in Boston keyword Boston because I'm not <laughs> what I'm gonna do is if I don't respond to your email in 24 hours I will take you out to lunch 
the next day. That's why I say it's only in Boston because I'm not trying to take everyone out to lunch and whatnot unless you actually are in the city. And so this is going to really apply to my coworkers. And you best believe they're going to want to hold me accountable because who doesn't love a good lunch from Figaro's with a nice brownie to finish it off, right? They are going to love that. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm going to add an incentive onto this one because this one, if I miss their email and they try to make fun of me for it, I really don't care, to be honest. But knowing I want to get better at it, if I have to keep forking out lunches, there's going to be a point where I'm like, okay, enough lunches. I must respond to their emails. And so it's this idea of a social challenge, whether it's you want to be humiliated, whether it's you don't want to lose money, whether it's it's something that pulls at you to actually motivate you to do it is what you have to do here. And generally, with people involved in adding the social aspect is one of the best ways I've found when something is really important, this is what you do, right? If it's life-threatening and you're pre-diabetic, very important. If you're missing emails and communications that are affecting your job, your life, your family, this is something to use, it's very important. There are lots of other scenarios I imagine you guys are feeling that are personal to you. Love to hear them in the comments down below, but I encourage you, find something to do a social challenge in to where you will actually feel the need to accomplish your goals or accomplish what's in front of you. I do wanna add this last part in, this part's very important. I'm gonna encourage you to do this before January 1st, because Let's be very clear here. January 1st, when we do all of our New Year's resolutions, how many of you out there actually keep them? Not many. And so if you want to keep this long lasting and you want to be able to use this technique in the future, you need to do it not on January 1st. You need to do it before then because that shows me you're serious. It shows me you actually want to change this. You don't want to just change this because of the time of year. You want to change to get better. So I encourage you, if this is what you're thinking about, you need to make a change in your life. Do a social challenge for yourself to make sure you accomplish what you need to and start today. Don't start three weeks from now when it's January 1st and don't start after January 1st because since you've seen this video, now is your time to act. So if you want to cause change, I challenge you to change. That is my social challenge to you. Tell me what you're going to do. Tell me how me and my team can hold you accountable and I want to hear about it down below. That's it for this video. I hope you guys take heed of the advice today. I think it's absolutely uh, crucial to, if you want to change yourself, change a piece of your life, change for better for your goals, it can be absolutely crucial. I think it went over a little bit five minutes, but I think it was worth it. If you guys have any comments, questions, feel free to leave them below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up because that always helps. No matter what platform I'm on or posting this on, it really helps. And until next time, I'll see you all later.